This episode of TechCrunch Minute is brought to you by Affinity, the relationship intelligence platform for dealmakers. Polaris Dawn lifted off from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on Tuesday morning. This mission will travel to the highest altitude humans have reached since the Apollo 17 mission to the moon in 1972. They're going to be three times higher than the International Space Station. This effort by SpaceX is also notable because it'll mark the first spacewalk by civilians. As a commercial enterprise, SpaceX can be a bit more experimental with its missions than NASA. So we have a four-person crew made up of a retired U.S. Air Force colonel, two SpaceX employees, and billionaire entrepreneur Jarek Isaacman, who's helping fund the Polaris program. It's pretty easy to understand why spacewalks are so dangerous. Outer space is the closest environment to a vacuum that we know of, meaning that there's extremely low pressure. Without a spacesuit, your body fluids would boil and evaporate. Not to mention, you can't breathe. But even with the right equipment, a spacewalk is very physically and mentally taxing. The astronaut Mike Fink said to CNN, a spacewalk is probably the most dangerous thing that we do. I think it's more dangerous than launching and landing. So all eyes are on Polaris Dawn since it's some truly daredevilish stuff to send civilians, not trained astronauts, on a spacewalk. For SpaceX, this risk doesn't come without reward. This spacewalk marks the debut of new extravehicular spacesuits engineered by SpaceX. And if SpaceX is really going to fulfill its mission of getting humans to live on Mars one day, these advancements in spacesuit construction are going to be necessary. The crew on Polaris Dawn will also test the Dragon capsule's communications with the SpaceX Starlink constellation, which would enable in-capsule Wi-Fi, which would mean more reliable crew communications for future space missions. They're also traveling through the high-energy Van Allen belt, where radiation is especially high. During that part of the mission, the crew will conduct research to improve our understanding of the impact of radiation on our bodies. In a press conference last month, Isaacman said, We stand to learn quite a bit from that uh, in terms of human health, science, and research. Uh, if we get to uh, Mars someday, we'd love to be able to come back and, and be healthy enough to tell people about it. So I think that's, it's worthwhile to get some exposure in that environment. So keep your fingers crossed for a successful spacewalk and don't try this at home. 